Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a slide up transition tutorial. And this is honestly a pretty easy transition, just like my last one. So if you already know how to import your pictures and your audio, then skip to this time. But if you don't, then just keep watching. So the first thing that you wanna do is click on the plus in the top right hand corner. And you wanna select your video format. And basically that's just like the shape of your video edit. Then once you've picked that, click select song and click on videos down here in the bottom corner and make sure that you have your audio saved to your camera roll and usually i do that by like screen recording off of youtube or instagram okay so once you've picked your audio then you can edit your audio or like cut it down by moving this circle to where you want it to start and clicking set start right here and moving your circle to where you want it to end by clicking set end right here and then you can just use this button to play the audio Once you've shortened your audio, if you have to, then click on make video down here. And now you can either click on import photo or import video, depending on if you're doing an edit with pictures or videos, but it doesn't matter which one you do because you're gonna be doing the same exact process, but I'm just gonna do import photo. Okay, so once you've clicked on your picture, it should bring you to this. And all you're gonna do is use two of your fingers to zoom in on the picture so that there's no black space on the outside showing. Once you've cropped the picture, then if you look down here, it's similar to what you did the last time with your audio, except this time you're shortening your audio to what part you want the first picture to be in your audio. So you can move your circle again in the audio and then click set end where you want your picture to end in the audio and click on this play button to play the audio. And once you've done that, then just click import in the top right hand corner. And you can do this as many times as you want to. So all you do is click on add in the bottom corner and then click on import photo or import video and do this as many times as you need to for your whole edit. I'm only gonna do it twice though because I'm only doing one transition, but you can go ahead and do it as many times as you want. And again, you wanna crop your picture if you need to. And then again, you have to select your audio length that you want your picture to show in the audio. And then once you've done that, then just click import in the top corner. So now that you've imported your pictures and your audio, this is technically where the transition starts. So you wanna move your circle to your first picture and you wanna click on new, multi-layer, the one box, and then you wanna click on your picture and then click on edit keyframes and it should bring you to this. So I know this looks really confusing at first if you're a beginner, but trust me, it gets so much easier. So the first thing you wanna do is bring your circle to the very end of the line. And all you wanna do is if you look over here, there's all these arrows and you want to click on the down arrow and hold it in. So as you can see, it's moving the picture down, which is going to create the slide up transition. So you can slide the picture until it's about here, I would say. And so far, this is what it should look like. Obviously, it doesn't look good because we're missing one thing and that's a path. So a path is basically what determines the speed of your transition and it just like makes it look a lot better. So to add a path, if you look over here under your arrows, it says the word path and there's a box next to it. So you wanna click on that box and here you have two options. You can either select this path, which is a video star path. It's made by video star. This is what it would look like. So obviously it's a little bit slower and stuff. And your other option, if you click on that box, is to click on the word custom right here and you can make your own path. If you don't know how to make a custom path of your own, I have a video on it and I'll make sure to link that down in my description box so you can watch that if you want to.
Okay, so I'm done doing the custom path and this is what mine looks like so far. So once you're done doing your path or clicking on your path, then you can just click on this back button up here. And you have one last step in here and all you want to do is click on this mirror button down here and you can click on any one of these it doesn't matter which one you choose but basically it mirrors the picture as you can see so there's not any white showing or any other color showing so i'm just gonna click on this one but it doesn't matter which one you choose and once you're done with all of that just click create up here and click on done and now you have one last step for the first part of your transition and that is to blur it and blurring the picture makes it so much smoother. It makes your transition look a lot better. All you want to do to do that is make sure that you're on your first clip and then click on new, re-effect the plus button in the bottom corner and then the search button. And you want to search the word focus and click on the first one. So now that you've done that, there's like this little arrow right here and you want to click on that arrow and you want to click on this box and then just click on this down arrow once you've done that so basically what you're going to be doing right now is you're going to be lifting this circle up as the clip continues so that you blur the transition and it's just a lot smoother so you just want to click on this one time up here so that it's slower and it's easier to control to do that and then you want to click on re-effect and right when you do that put your finger on this circle and slide this up as the transition goes i know that sounds so confusing and it's like confusing at first but you can just watch me and hopefully it will be easier to understand So now that you're done with that, you're done with the first part of your transition, and now the second part is a lot easier. So you wanna bring your circle to the second clip in your transition, and you wanna click on new, multi-layer, the one box, on your second clip or picture, and then edit keyframes again. And now you're gonna do Kind of a similar process as you did the first time so it's a lot easier and you want to bring the circle again to the very end of the line except now all you want to do is click on this arrow right here if you see it's next to the word path you just click on that one time and then once you've clicked on that button bring your circle back to the very beginning of the line and now you want to go back to these arrows that you see over here that we were using and you just want to click on this arrow button the one that's go the one that's like on the top and you want to hold it in just like you did the last time so i'm going to put my picture to about there but you can do it to wherever you prefer and now that you're done with sliding your picture now you can slide your circle to the very end of the line again and you want to add a path again so if you click on the box right here next to the word path again you have two options your first option is to click on this path and it would look like this and your second option is to click back on the box and click on custom and do a custom path which is what i'm gonna do so i'm done doing my custom path and this is what it looks like so now that you're done with your path, again, just click on back up here and you want to mirror your picture again. So click on this mirror button in the bottom corner. And again, you can click on any one of these four options right here. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm just going to do this one. And you want to click on create and click on done. So you have one last step and that's to do the blur that you just did earlier. So. You want to make sure that you're on your second clip. Go to new, re-effect, the plus, the search bar, and click on focus. And then click on this down arrow. So you want to do almost the same thing as you did last time. You want to click on the re-effect button and right when you do that, 
you're going to put your finger on this line and make sure that it's at the top and you want to slide it down as the clip continues. Instead of last time we were sliding the circle up, this time we're just going to slide it down. So again, you can watch me because I know that's really confusing at first. Okay, so we're done with the transition and this is what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you and I hope you had a great day and I'll see you guys next week.